I've spent over 20 years of my life using Windows and this year I decided to switch to Mac. It wasn't an easy decision and I really do love Windows, but there's just something about that sleek and premium feel that Apple products have that's just always got me. So I thought, you know what? It's time for a change. And I went all in and I picked myself up a brand new M2 MacBook Pro. And of course, six weeks later, Apple released their brand new M3 MacBook Pros. But it's cool. I actually got a really good deal on the M2 and I'm really loving it so far. But switching from Windows to Mac wasn't exactly as straightforward as I thought it was going to be. So in this video, I'm going to show you 10 must have Mac apps that will ease that transition from Windows to Mac and will also help you get the most out of your new Mac. Some of these apps will be free and some of these apps will be paid. But trust me, every single one of these apps will be 100% worth it. And I'll have links in the description below for you to download them. So without further ado, my name is Hamza and let's get into it. So the first app on this list is called Setup. I wanted to mention Setup first because it's honestly the first thing that I installed on my Mac and it's the first thing that I recommend any new Mac user to install on their Mac too. Setup is basically a Mac app subscription and has a library of over 200 premium apps. Think of it like Netflix, but for Mac apps. Setup is a paid subscription and their plans start from as little as $8 a month, but honestly it's worth every penny. Next is an app called CleanShot X. Now, CleanShot is the best screenshot app I've ever used. And especially coming over from Windows, CleanShot absolutely smokes the snipping tool. You can use CleanShot to take beautiful screenshots, seamlessly record your screen, and even record scrolling captures amongst a whole bunch of other features. But where CleanShot really shines is inside of the editor. You can add incredible backgrounds to your screenshot, add padding, add rounded corners. You can annotate, draw, blur, highlight, and so much more. So if you're someone like me that takes and sends a lot of screenshots, then CleanShot Cleanshot is an absolute must. Cleanshot is a paid app and starts at a one-time payment of $29, but Cleanshot is actually one of the apps that's included in Setup. And that's where I got my copy from and where I recommend you get yours from too. Next is an app called Rectangle. Now, this will especially resonate with you Windows users. For whatever reason, on Mac by default, you can't snap windows to the left or right like you can on windows. And as someone who was constantly snapping windows so I can drag things around and copy and paste things, this was a huge part of my workflow. So you can imagine my face when I found out that I just paid 2000 pound and I can't even snap a window. But thankfully that's where Rectangle comes in. Rectangle is a free app that brings that window snapping functionality over to Mac and it's awesome. You can snap windows wherever you want by simply dragging them to the side or by using one of the keyboard shortcuts just like you would on Windows. But ironically, Rectangle actually has more snapping positions than Windows does. You'll find a whole bunch of positions so that you can snap to your heart's content. Like I mentioned, Rectangle is completely free to use. They have just released a pro version, but personally, I'm still using a free version and it works perfectly fine. Next is Paste. This is another app that I use every single day. I'm honestly would struggle without it. Paste is a clipboard manager for Mac and basically saves everything that you copy and paste into a really intuitive space for you to access whenever you need. Paste will categorize everything that you copy into whatever they are, such as images, text, links, and colors, so that you can later search and find things easier. You can also customize how much history that you want Paste to keep, and you can erase your clipboard history at any time. But the one thing that sets Paste apart, and is one of the main reasons that I use it, is the ability to sync your clipboard across your devices. So anything that I've copied on my Mac, I can access directly on my iPhone or my iPad. And honestly, this was a game changer for me. Paste is a paid app and starts at $29.99 for the year. But again, it's one of the apps that's included in Setup. You can already see how useful Setup is and how much it can save you. Next up is Clean My Mac X. Clean My Mac is essentially a cleaner app that will help you get rid of system junk, unwanted apps, and tune your Mac for maximum speed and longevity. And honestly, this has got to be one of the nicest looking cleaner apps I've ever seen. The user interface is beautiful and is super intuitive to use. You can do everything from deleting system junk to malware removal to securely deleting files amongst a whole load more. But one of the things that I found it most useful for is actually uninstalling apps. I found that when you uninstall apps the traditional way on Mac, it leaves behind a lot of junk and uninstaller files. But when you uninstall an app using Clean My Mac, it will completely scan your system and remove any trace of that app, which is really helpful. So overall, Clean My Mac is essential to keep your Mac running as fast and as smooth as possible for as long as possible, so I highly recommend it. And Clean My Mac is available on Setup once again. Next is an app called Raycast. 
Now, Raycast is an absolute beast and it could honestly be a whole video in itself. But I'm going to give you an overview and show you exactly why you need to download this on your Mac right now. Raycast is essentially a spotlight replacement for your Mac, but with a ridiculous amount of power. It can complete tasks, it can calculate, it can share and find files, and it can even generate written content and so much more. Some of the most common things that I use Raycast for is to quickly perform calculations, generate placeholder content for my designs, open and close apps, and to quickly take notes. But where Raycast really comes into its own is its huge library of extensions. One of my favorites is the ChatGPT extension. So instead of having to go to ChatGPT in your browser and logging in, you can just open up Raycast, enter your prompt, and it will shoot the response right inside of Raycast. Like I said, this doesn't even scratch the surface of what Raycast can do, but you can already see how powerful it can be. Raycast has a few different pricing plans, but I'm actually on the free plan and it's more than enough for me. Next is Dropover. Dropover is an app that makes dragging and dropping so much easier on a Mac. You can quickly stash, gather and move files all around without having to open multiple tabs and windows. Simply grab some files that you want to move and give it a shake and it pulls up this floating shelf. You can then drag any files that you want into it and it kind of acts like a temporary folder. So you can go into different folders, you can drag your files into your shelf and then head wherever you need to and then drop them out. Super simple and super useful. Another really cool feature of Dropover is that when you drag your files into your shelf, it actually gives you the ability to share all the files in that shelf with someone else. Similar to how you would use WeTransfer or Dropbox, you can just grab your files, you can give them a shake and then you can drop them into your shelf right click and click on copy dropover link and you have a fully downloadable link that you can send to anybody dropover is a free app but they also have a pro plan that you can check out but again i've been using the free plan and it's been more than enough for me next up is bartender as you start installing all of these different apps you're going to quickly notice a ton of icons cluttering up your menu bar and i don't know about you but i think this looks ugly as and that is where Bartender comes into it. Bartender is a super simple Mac app that helps you take control of your menu bar. You can choose what icons to show, what icons to hide, and even the entire look and feel of your menu bar. So you can take your menu bar from this to something so much cleaner like this. Bartender is another paid app and starts at $16, but again, it's included in Setup if you wanted to download it from there. Next, we have an app called Downy. This is another app that I use every day and it saves me so much time. Downy is a video downloader app that lets you download videos from basically anywhere. Any website that has a video on it, just grab the link and paste it into Downy and it will download the video in the highest possible quality. It's that easy. Another really cool feature of Downy is that it automatically lets you convert the video to MP4 or even just audio. And it even lets you download the subtitles for the video in any language. I use Downy all the time, but mainly to download videos that I use for my B-roll in my YouTube videos. But it can honestly download videos from anywhere. And I mean anywhere, if you know what I mean. Downy is a paid app and starts at $15. But once again, it's available as part of Setup. And that's where I got my copy from. And finally, we have Reflex. This is an app I haven't actually seen many people talk about, but I find it really useful. Reflex is basically an app that takes the media keys on your keyboard and keeps them hooked to your Spotify or Apple Music. So say for example, you have your Spotify playing, but you're about to watch a YouTube video. So you hit the pause button on your keyboard, but annoyingly it pauses the YouTube video, not your music. By default, the media keys on your keyboard default to the last played media, which in this example was the YouTube video. But with Reflex, it constantly attaches the media keys to your music, so you're always in control. And there you have it. Those are 10 must-have apps that you need to install on your new Mac. I've put links to all of the apps in the description below so that you can go ahead and you can download them right away. I really hope you enjoyed this video and if it brought you any value whatsoever, I would really appreciate a like and a comment. And if you're interested in more content just like this, please consider subscribing and I'll see you in the next one.